On the first day of school, I could tell you were there. For me. For the daughters, the sisters, and the girls. Because you believe we will make a difference in the world. You have an unusual depth of insight into my great adventure of learning. You have given me an inquiring spirit of curiosity, a thirst for understanding. You are my listener, my guide, and my champion. You are my teacher. I think teachers play a huge role because we get to see them every day. So when we start in lower school, they're just curious and eager to, you know, learn everything they can possibly learn. When we get to middle school, they are like sponges. And by upper school, there is this connection and bond. It happens every year. They start off as my students in a classroom, but as the year goes on, we get to know each other better. And we get beyond the Great Gatsby or Pride and Prejudice. We develop almost a collegiality. And so we move away from instruction and more to an authentic exchange of, of ideas. In lower school, I always imagine what they will be like when they get older. And when they walk across the stage at graduation, I admire them for who they've become. The ictus is key because that's going to set the rhythm. Four plus echo no dwarfs I'm in awe of the students here. They're fully engaged in their learning. They simply love to learn. Alessandra Botticelli epitomized the spirit of the Renaissance. She gives you the subject, Botticelli, we're in Italy. But it's that student-teacher connection that makes me feel so grateful to be at this place. Teachers have a high calling. We give the students a safe place to take risks. I was a student here and was very shy. I left Holton with a quiet confidence because my teachers asked more of me than I knew I had to give. Now, I teach fourth grade and I do the same for my students. They have something valuable to say and something meaningful to contribute. My confidence in them gets passed down. My hope for the girls is that they walk away knowing that they are capable, competent, strong women who can do anything. I don't think you can be a teacher without having the curiosity and the desire to always keep learning. That's something that drives me. I want the girls to have that desire, to be daring, to try something they never thought that they could before, to be courageous in that. Teaching is a calling to empower. You want to go full speed. I teach production tech. The girls learn to build sets, they learn to paint, they learn how to do theatrical lighting how to mix sound and design costumes. I want them to leave here with a tenacious grit and confidence that they are courageous and can do anything. Teaching is one of those amazing professions that you do because you love it and are called to it. The studio is our sanctuary. It's a haven for meaningful conversation and significant work. Ceramics is important, but clay is just the medium I use. It's the context for my connection with the girls. I'm a demanding teacher. Holton girls are extremely talented, and that combination results in what I like to call deep work. I'm helping them develop their ability to see. But I also want them to see themselves uniquely. They would know that they could do anything they want to do. That they would inspire others. That they would continue to push themselves. Be able to express themselves. Concern for the well-being of others around them. A Holton girl would make a difference in this world. That Holton girls would find a way. Find a way. Or make one. Or make one. I could tell you were there. For me for the daughters, the sisters, and the girls. Because you believe we will make a difference in the world. You have an unusual depth of insight into my great adventure of learning. You have given me an inquiring spirit of curiosity, a thirst for understanding. You are my listener, my guide, my champion. You are my teacher.